Welcome Virgo to your mid-March love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So how we do things here is we're going to use this deck to pull some energies, do some tarot, and then at the end of the reading we'll pull lovers oracles for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. And if you are interested, the March readings were posted last week so you guys could go ahead and check those out. So let's see what's coming in for Virgo regarding love. We have the Four of Wands. And then we have the Three of Rings in reverse. Hangman in reverse. And then we have the Spirit of Rings upright. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Rings in reverse. Now just keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. We have the Two of Swords coming in, the Ten of Wands, the Four of Swords, now that's in the challenge position. We have the King of Wands, the Chariot, the Hermit, the Tower. This is what you don't see coming. And the Nine of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands and the king of swords i'm loving your energy though it's really amazing and then we have the five of cups okay virgo so i'm seeing a lot here with this reading and with this four of wands energy this is about stability within your home a marriage within yourself or with your person or just within the situation this could be you wanting a stable, long-term, committed relationship, something that is solid, someone who is loyal, someone that is consistent and follows through what they say. Now, there could have been some, you know, dishonesty within the situation or someone, you know, not being completely truthful to you here where there could be some trust issues. Uh, possibly something that happened within a tower moment now this could be presently or those could be something in the past but we have you here in the hangman the hangman position which is showing me that there's something here that you're surrendering or have surrendered already now it doesn't mean you're completely surrendering a person I mean for some of you I do feel that you this could have been a past person you dealt with um, but this could be surrendering something. Something needs to crash down within this relationship because somebody is resisting change here. And I do feel like it is your person, okay? Now, this could be feeling a really burnt out for many, many years or for months or just in the beginning to where now it's time to focus on you because this card in the challenge position is saying that you're either taking a step back from the situation and focusing on yourself or that's what you're needing to do is to kind of like mentally if this has been a lot on you or you've been taking on a lot due to you know this situation or your relationship this is a time to do some self-care okay and i feel like you are putting the focus on you now the Six of Wands and the King of Swords, and then we have the King of Wands. So there could be a lot of attraction here or somebody wanting to come back or wanting to work at this because they're recognizing you here, right? Or this could be somebody completely new coming in that, you know, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, doesn't have to be, it could just be this energy who really wants that serious relationship, right? And then we have the King of Wands, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. First thing I feel is something was needing to be addressed and i don't feel like the person you dealt with took any responsibility of their own actions okay 
are there needing to take responsibility of their own actions if you are dealing with them at this time? I feel like your person is has a lot on their plate. They are taking a lot on and it could be emotionally or something that needs to heal with inside them and to reasons why they possibly not being very as consistent or committal as you would like them to be because it's that energy of that stuck feeling, okay? And now for some of you, I do feel like you know, you surrendered this person after a tower moment. And then we have this hermit where you kind of withdrew yourself from them, right? To where they had to take a better look at who they were as an individual. And which got them all up in their mind because this is about worry, anxiety, sadness. This is so many things here with this Nine of Swords energy. And then if you see on the bottom of the deck, we do have this five of cups and, and the four of cups. So they could be looking at you as a missed opportunity. They could be very frustrated and sad over this time because the five of cups could be both of you feeling, you know, disappointed and frustrated within the situation, feeling some type of loss. You know, if they only took responsibility of their own actions, this could have worked, right? And, or if there is any struggles in a relationship at this time, then yes, it, it, it's, it's like, come on, <laughs> you know? Because it feels like there's a lot of love here and also a lot of disappointment and a lot of healing needed for your person. Now, you could have gone through a lot of challenges within your life or maybe in, a, in the past, but it's just showing how victorious you are, Virgo. Now, you have been overcoming a lot in your life to where it brought you into this hermit. Now, the hermit is Virgo, okay? So this is you. This is you knowing that you have all the answers. You've been there, you've done that. You've gone through, again, so much in life with this chariot, facing challenges head on, going through the pain in life, overcoming a lot of traumatic experiences. And now you have a lot of wisdom. This is aligning your mind, body, and soul. You have done a lot of inner work, soul searching, and you have a higher level of consciousness now consciousness to where you can see right through this situation. Now, for some of you, I do feel there possibly is a separation that is happening right now. Um, or this again could be somebody in the past for if this was a past situation, something new is coming in here. It doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign, but it could be someone carrying this energy who wants also a serious relationship. This also could be a transformation within a relationship to where this person is going through a tower moment and the love is so strong and the attraction is so strong. They're wanting, they're coming now, they're coming back around being serious about it, okay? So as you pull away, they're more self-reflecting and this tower moment crashes down with inside them to where they have no choice but to look at themselves. Okay, you said your piece, you you are, you're needing to say your piece, right? Because the two of swords could be you like already said it, but now you're just like, you gave up. Okay, there's nothing more I can say. This person is still resisting change. But I feel the more that you pull away and take that time to yourself and do that self-care and that self-love, this person has no choice but to look at themselves and what their wrongdoing was. And that's what I love so much about this reading is that you already know what they need to do to make this work. Okay, now if you've been with this person for a very long time or even a short amount of time, say if you've been with them for a short amount of time, it's been months, right? And they're treating you as, you know, they're in a commitment with you, but they still haven't asked you yet. I feel like some of you, you know, might weigh it out a little bit to see, you know, why aren't they, you know, asking me to be their girlfriend or boyfriend. And I feel for some of you who've been in a relationship for a very long time, you know, it's like, okay, well, are you going to propose to me yet? Like what else do we need to do? Either way, you know, something needs to crash down within this person. They are needing to grow because you've already grown here. You already acknowledged your pain and you became victorious and resilient from it. And it looks like they're needing to do what you do, kind of like meet you at your level, okay? Because it feels like you are in different uh, pages with your spirituality, but there was or is a lot of love here, okay? So it's always your choice in the end, Virgo. It's always your choice. So let's go ahead and get into your lover's oracles and see what's coming in. And then for some of you, this could be a huge transformation within a relationship too that you're in. Like it could be a little rocky at first or it could be rocky, you know, for a while.
It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself, Virgo. Okay? That's what I feel like you're doing. You're doing the self-healing or you're needing to, or if you're feeling burnt out, Virgo, it's just asking you to, you know, take that time for yourself. You deserve to relax your mind, you know, taking a break mentally from any chaos. Just do some self-love at this time. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Yes. So, I mean, if this was a something that happened in the past, you surrendered something, you know, that this person did not change or, you know, you had a really bad tower moment and now you are taking that time to heal and now moving forward to something new, like new beginnings for you, like new opportunities. But this taught you so much, okay? And that's for my singles. This taught you a lot and it was not easy. We have... Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Yeah, so if you are in separation with this person, this again could be a transformation within this relationship, um, you know, coming back stronger than before. Or if this is, you know, something that happened in the past, then it's like you're ready to get back out there and have new beginnings. And I feel like you have accepted what happened and now you're moving on to your new beginnings because you deserve love. These are called hidden truth oracles. So we'll see what the messages are here for your past person, okay? Or the person that you're dealing with. Like, what do they want to say to you? Whoa. It was my fault but I blamed you. That was really strong. So this person did not, is, is not, or ha wasn't taking responsibility of their own actions. And that's why. And then it says the timing just wasn't right for us. And I feel like this card is mostly because the person, you know, needed a lot of healing. They still had so much growth to do and still needing to grow. And now they're looking at you as, you know, this is what I mean. Like you pulling away or you leaving this person is making them look at themselves to now they're being honest. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for you, Virgo. I hope this reading did help. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe. God bless.